What is going on, guys? It's me, Liquid Truth, and we are back in Morrowind. As you can see, we have finally established an actual house. Last episode, we took over Fargoth's house. But now, we ended up stumbling upon this cave. And I looked it up. I think it was called... The mod is called... Adunumeron Restored, I think? Um... Yeah, it's on the expanded vanilla mod list. I've mentioned it before. That's the mod list that I'm using. But yeah, this is really, really, really amazing. So we'll probably will use it until we get the Klalu house so we can stop using Fargoth's home. And for now, uh oh, I fell. All right, we're going to actually just wait till it's a little brighter put that up for now we're going to continue our journey to Pelagiad because we had some business to handle so hopefully you guys are having a good day I have been unable to stop playing this game like I keep feeling like tempted to make another character so I can just be like all right I won't I won't continue this character non-stop I'm gonna just make a different character because I'm obviously not going to start playing this off record because that would just be stupid like to record a let's play and just be like I played a couple hours without recording hold on lady I'm picking flowers stop yelling uh but yeah I haven't done that because I want to I don't want to like spread out my enjoyment I want to kind of just have it concentrated for the record so Instead, I've just been like, all right, well, let's just record more then. Oh, this is the lady who Begging falls in pardon. love with her. Have you seen a bandit nearby? A bandit. I must find him. All right, horny ass. Bandit nearby? Yes. I was just walking along here, minding my own business. Suddenly, a bandit jumped at me from behind. He was a dark elf. A strong, dashing dark elf. He didn't seem to harm me in any way, although he did take my jewels. He was quite gentle, and he talked to me for what seemed like forever. Jewels? What's that? Oh, well, yeah, never mind the jewels. I want to find the bandit again. It was charming and funny, and I simply must see him again. His name? Nelos... Nelos Onmar. Name that will stay on my lips for eternity. Perhaps you can find him for me. Please, I cannot live without knowing if he could ever love me. I have nothing to offer you in return, but could you not help me for the sake of love? I'll help find this man. You'll try? Thank you so. I'm sure you'll be able to find him. He mentioned something about having to head south, so I imagine he might have found he might be found in Pelagiad. Please, if you find him, give him this glove for me as a token of my love. I'm certain he'll want to find me again. Okay. So she's all horny for what the hell is that over there? For this guy. Plagiad, we gotta go this way. What's that way? How is there a road going that way yet nothing says what's there? Balmore is this way, but this sign says Balmore is that way. If we go this way, it's not going to lead us to Balmora. Somebody's lying. Somebody's not telling the truth. I don't know. You're lucky I know where I'm going or we'd have a problem. So I'm pretty sure that guy's like hiding in a bar. The guy that like robbed her ass. And she's so stupid. She's like, oh my God, I love him. I think he loves me too. He's like, bitch. Uh, sure, I love you. Uh, let's go out to eat again. Bring some of your friends, if they're as stupid as you, so I can rob their ass, too. Like, Bitch, I'd love you, too. Just letting the locals... She's like the type of girl that goes to Jamaica. She's like in Jamaica, just, just strolling around and got robbed by some hot Jamaican. And now she's like, oh my god, he was so hot. Can you tell him to, to come fuck me? Come hang out again? I'm like, alright, lady, whatever. You learn nothing. Naive as fuck, but yeah, sure, we'll find him in the bar. And let him let him know that you're stupid as hell. He'll be like, alright, sure, I'll go hit a lick again. 
Like, she wants me to move in? Will she pay for my rent? I can just live with her? Like, yeah, dude, she's crazy. She's dumb as hell. All right, let's get a good look. They mentioned... They mentioned there was a building south of Pelagiad. Specifically, a library, they called it. Dude, I'm hype. I'm hype. Let's go to the fucking library. This is what I'm going to build in my Hlalu house. A library with every book in the game. I don't know if that's what's in here. But, I mean, like, I'd assume so. What is this? Guar Buri Guar. Rar? Background? Why you ask? What? <laughs> what are you? Hmm. We's a guar. We has name guar. Buri guar. Also, we sells things found in ground. What are you doing here? For smart guar. Wants to learn words. Be smarter. -ar. But door are closed in bad smell. Guar spins around for a bit, making a show of trying to open the door, and shakes his massive head. Perhaps I could ask the library about this unusual situation. Okay. What the hell? There's a guar chilling outside the library. Welcome to the public library. What the fuck is that sound? Morrowind lore. Morrowind history. Cult and worship. Building your character. Wow. Introductions to Algrim. Dude. What the fuck is that sound? Oh my god. Dwarmer Centurion plans. Yo, what is happening upstairs, dude? Practice of alchemy? This is so cool. Hello there, I'm Kenna, bookmaster, Karima's assistant. I take care of acquisitions here at the public library. This is the public library. If you'd like more information, please talk to bookmaster Karima. What up, G? Bookmaster Karima. Hello and welcome to the Public Library. The Public Library was founded several decades ago by a scholar far away from by a scholar from far away, Akbir Dr. Shizuka Tenshi. Dr. Shizuka Tenshi came to realize that basic education for the average imperial citizen is too often reserved for guilds and a privileged few, and wanted to change this state of affairs. He founded this library with his own private collection and brought the rest of the books over several years brought the best brought in the rest of the books over several years still today we're actively acquiring new books we've kept the original organization into several fields of expertise and keep adding books to the relevant sections when we get them you'll also find near the entrance dr shizuki's own books written for the newcomer to morrowind they're always offering they always wait what they are always a popular read for outlanders as they say here like yourself Acquiring new books. Yes, we're always looking for new and rare books. Would you like to help? You can pay 500 gold for each book on our list, and the first one you bring in will grant you a fellow status as well. Fellows of the library are friends and valued guests and get access to the exclusive collections and reading room on the second floor. There are several ways you can become a fellow. Make a one-time donation of 10,000 gold or bring in one of the new and rare books on our list. Can I get that list? Excellent. Here's a list of wanted books. If you find any of those, please bring it to me. I'll pay you 500 gold and make you a fellow of the library. You also have premium finders privileges regarding any books you bring me, with the ability to borrow them back for your personal use at any time. Uh, second floor? Ha, huh. yes, we do have a second floor, even larger than this one. However, due to the nature of some of the books stored there, we reserve access to trusted fellows of the library. This is where we keep the more in-depth treatises of theology and all the books relative to the schools of magic. You'll also find a pretty unique collection of documents on the lost Dwemer culture, 
two whole shelves dedicated to the arts of combat, and a full, extremely extensive section on the practice of alchemy. Alright, what about that guar outside? A seemingly intelligent guar, you say? Right outside the library? And it can't get in but wants to learn. Well, we can't have that, can we? I must confess, it's a first for me, but a librarian does not walk away from a challenge. Talking guar can't be very different from a barbarian, all things considered. Why don't you bring it this copy of ABC and see what happens? All right. So I want to build my own library, so I don't imagine I'm going to be bringing them a list of books. Yeah, like these are books that there's only like one copy of in the game, like Barrett Boathai's pillow book. You have to like steal that. And that's from that quest, I think. Where I think you have to actually turn it in for the Thieves Guild. Yeah, I'm not going to give them these books. I'll just give them 10,000 gold once I have it. What is going on? We need to hear it. Where is the second floor? How do you get there? Oh. I see. I see. That's the whole thing. Is it's locked. Let's make sure we're not stealing anything. I just want to see if I can get any XP. I, did, I took something on accident. What was it? Ash statue. God damn it, lady. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't notice the ash statue there. Somebody on a fucking breathing machine upstairs, dude? What is that? Encyclopedia of Disease. Brothers of Darkness. Great houses of... Oh, whoops. Read silently. I want something that explains the great houses. Okay, cool. We'll be back some other time. But we kind of... We get the vibe. We get the gist. Hey, you. We have some... Some stuff for you. ABC for barbarians. Or we? Sniff, sniff. Dead... Three full of words? Great. You're a true friend of Guar. Guar. That was it? Uh, going? Trying to give me a kiss? Or chill out, pervert, or I whoop you. We have a problem. Just kidding. Cool. We taught the Guar some English. So, do you know about the gang that's here terrorizing people? Greetings, Dark Elf. What brings you to Pelagia this day? I think you will find welcome here, as the Imperial Presence makes it easier for people, different peoples of Tamriel, to endure one another. Morrowind is a harsh place, but it doesn't seem quite so terrible in this little corner. Rumors. At first, it seemed the fuss about the Nereverine prophecy was just silly superstition. Then I learned that Dunmer had been waiting for Lord Nerevar to come back for centuries. The Incarnate, they call it. Every few years an Ashlander appears, and the tribes call him the Incarnate. Then the Temple goes out, hunts him down, and reveals him as a fake. Why does the Temple worry so much about it? Good point. You're just a gardener. Alright. We need to... Whoa, what's your deal? Uh, come on, Dick. Say something or move on. The hell's your deal, fancy? Fancy girl? Uh. Who were they talking about? There was like a bunch of crazy people here. Rumors. We all suspect that there's something wrong with the well water. People are getting sick and the farmer's crops are wilting. But the guards say that they're too busy fighting off bandits to check on the well. There aren't many adventurers in Pelagia. I hope someone's able to figure out what's going on soon. If you're interested, talk to Yagfa to get the key to the well. She's in Fort Pelagia. Be careful down there. We'd hate to lose another person. Alright, that's good and well, but no pun intended. Uh, I was here to... Bragging rights. 
Braggart asked me to get a copy of The Prayers of Barnot. There's a copy in Punamu, which is on the northern coast between Pelagiad and the Dren Plantation. Alright, well, we're going to have to sell our stuff before we go run into a cave again. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to run into the actual town, meet that Dunmer guy that she was horny for, tell, give him a little warning, and then we'll sell off our stuff. Oh, I like those hanging plants. That's cool. Yeah, I think he's in here. Let's put our, put our stuff away. Nelos. There. See? Nelos. What? Hurry this up, will you? You better relax. Anhasi. <sighs> when Anasi sees smooth moves like this, Anasi <laughs> thinks a dancer. No? A high wall walker? If you aren't in the Thieves Guild, perhaps you should be. Anasi's horny as fuck. Yo, Nelos. Pleased to meet you, stranger. You planning to stay in Pelagia long? Then you'll want to know where the services are. Yeah, whatever. Here's Mari's glove. You have what? How odd. She was a lovely young woman, but what would she want with a rogue like me? She was beautiful, though, and seemed sweet. First time in my life, I actually felt a little remorse for robbing someone. I should see her again. Here, take this. Tell her you have a note from Nelos. You must see her again. I won't forget this, friend. All right. Quickly, Outlander. I haven't much. Anhasi, what's your deal? I know you're also like crazy horny. What's up with you? All right. Smooth moves. How can Anhasi not see? Must she be blind? She sees you walk and likes what she sees. It is her profession. Such things as the flow of the body, as the grace of the eye in Admar. What? Kajit can see what she wants and not take it? Could Anhasi ask for a gift? Don't say no to Anhasi. Must Anhasi be the thief? Must she steal this thing, this Phaedron Anderus fellow she wants, or will he give himself as a gift? Anhasi, I love you. What's up? Give you the gift of friendship. Please forgive Anhasi if she purrs like a kitten. <laughs> but Anhasi is so pleased. You will come visit Anhasi often then, and tell her things, and ask her things too? For now we are friends, yes? Anhasi such secrets knows, she almost bursts, like Anhasi must tell her new friend this. Rodis upstairs, such a secret I know. Anhasi tells you, Anhasi trusts you, yes, Anhasi is a thief, you do not mind, why? Because Anhasi loves secret things. <laughs> she loves secrets. And when she finds them, she loves to have them. With the strange Rodus upstairs. Rodus has a secret. Anhasi can see. So Anhasi follows Rodus. This is how Anhasi knows Rodus serves Mehrun's Dagon. This magic belt Rodus has. Such a pretty belt. But strange writings and strange letters. Maybe evil. Maybe danger. Your profession? Yes, Anahasi is a thief, but Anahasi is a nice thief. Don't you think so? Anahasi rules. Uh, we're gonna chill. We're not gonna get any training. New friend. Yes, among new friends. Anahasi has good things to share. This is Anahasi's special custom with new friends to share. Share a gift, share a care. You will forgive Anahasi. She is so forward. But sharing gifts, sharing cares, that's what friends do, yes? Share a gift? What do you mean? Here, this is a little nothing that Anhasi finds a tasty treat and handy. So she gave me a quality potion of feather. All right, well, let's read the Hurry journal. Up, she's doing a lot of, she's doing a lot. Rhodus upstairs has a magical belt and worships Mehrun's Dagon. All right, so Anahasi's 
Kind of a little tattletale, to be honest. Anahasi is my friend and will tell me secrets. She gave me a quality potion as a uh, feather potion as a gift. All right, so what do you want now? Forgive Anahasi. Anahasi is so ashamed to ask her new friend to share such a care. But Anahasi is afraid, very afraid. This dustman, bad person, he frightens Anahasi. He comes and tells Anahasi there's no more thieves guild. There's just Kimono Tong. And Anhasi will join the Kimono Tong and be protected. Otherwise, unless Anhasi is protected, Anhasi might get hurt. This dustman, he talks quiet but very mean. Anhasi is so sorry. Sorry to trouble her new friend, but Anhasi is scared. Uh, alright Anhasi. <laughs> Seems like I've been baited. Uh, sure, what do you want me to do? You are too kind, Phaedrin and Doris. Anhasi knows she places great burden on new friend, but Anhasi cannot fight, cannot shed blood. She has sworn such an oath. Anhasi tries to be good, but Anhasi thinks how she is in great danger. This bad person, Daerin Adrian, a dark elf. This is almost my name, Adrian. A dark elf. He is Komono Tong Big Wig in Narmak. He is found at Nade. Nadine Rotherin's shack. Anahasi is so ashamed that she asks a life, a very great gift from her new friend, but Anahasi has none else. Anahasi wants me to kill somebody? I've offered to take care of the bad person who's threatened Anahasi. Bad person is Daerin Adrian, a dark elf in a Kamanatong bigwig. He's in a shack. He's a bigwig, but he lives in a shack, Anahasi? This isn't adding up. What do you have to sell? Guide to what? Necrom, what is that? Necrom is the holy city of the dead located on the either easternmost part of the mainland, Morrowin, in the Sacred Lands region. The temple city is where the Dunmer dead are brought, and it's one of the most important pilgrimage sites in Morrowind. The name Necrom actually refers to the vast... Alright, this is a lot. We'll do that when we're doing the damn pilgrimage. Yes. You're gonna get me caught up. Hey, where's the homie worshipping... Hey, Protus. What do you think you're doing in here? Go away! Now! Yeah, you're gonna fucking watch your mouth. I'm gonna let you know that real quick. Hey, what do you think you're doing in here? Go away. Word on the street, you worship in the demons. Uh, all right, go ahead and look that way. I'm gonna go ahead and go over here. Don't mind me. I'm going to just do a little chameleon. And then I don't think we can risk messing up. Oh shit, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. F5. We can't risk messing up, so I need to like. Oh, I did it in her face and she didn't even see me. She's such a moron. Lady, you're so fucking stupid. Are you an idiot? I told you, go away now. Oh my God, you've lost your mind. You must think this is something that it ain't. Uh, okay, we're gonna try something. Am I a moron, she says. I might be a moron. Let's find out. There's only one way to know, huh? Only one way to find out. Well, that door is locked. It's just me and you now, buddy. Let's see. One to 20 points. No, that's not, that's too slow. Is damage fatigue. Is she gonna attack me? Easier. Hold on, do I have a bounty? I do. What did she do to me? Burden, 93 points. Oh, is that what burden is? It makes you take on that weight? Lady, you are not strong. I'm gonna beat your ass. You will die right, where you stand. First off, we're loading the save. Second off. 
she's tripping. So we need to do something. Uh, fortify personality. Are you an idiot? I told you, go away now. I hate you. Hey, what do you know about Shorty over here tripping? Nothing. She's kind of doing you a an lot. Idiot? I told you, go away now. Oh, I want to fuck you up, lady. Uh, can we try this? She's just an asshole. She won't talk to me. Oh, she's not a creature. She's a humanoid, but whatever. What the hell did uh, Anahasi want me to do? Whoop his ass? Well, no, she wanted me to whoop that other person's ass. Yes. If I can help, in a fucking I will, shack. Anahasi's tripping. Can so, we hurry this along? Uh, what was the other? Say something or move on. Well, we needed to go sell our stuff first. Let's be honest. Consider joining the Legion. Mebstein supplies. I never joined Legion. I'd rather die than join the Legion. Don't need two backpacks, a spear, bone mold, medium, shit in right aldrin and left aldrin. We're gonna save those. Uh. Sell all of these clothes. took from random people. Wait, what was that? I need to save one of those. Need to make sure I save stuff that would be for the quest. Oh my god, we sold way too much stuff. I was not paying attention. Uh, fuck. God damn it. Ah, it's too much. I fucked up. Okay. What was worth that much? Oh, it's that Dro Curus. Okay, that's what it is. So we'll sell that in Caldera. Hmm. Damn it, having to do this again. Give us however much you have. May the fuck I was that? You. Don't you just put it on? The fuck, dude? Put that drip on? Alright, I see. Whatever. I'm not tripping. Let's see. On the northern coast, between Pelagiad and the Dren Plantation. Oh, wait, they wanted me to go into Fort Moonmouth. Moonmouth, or wait, Fort Pelagia to ask that lady about the poisoned well. I only have a few moments. Whatever, dude. Nobody's asking you to do anything. Settle down. Stay out of trouble and you won't get somebody with like a one word name. You do or some shit.
So much going on in here. Uh, who am I looking for? It's the law of Morrowind. Slavery is illegal. The Empire doesn't like it, but the Emperor signed the Armistice, and that made it legal for the Dunmer to retain their ancient laws and customs. Now, there's some abolitionists who say, to hell with the law, slavery is wrong. I'm not saying I disagree, but it's the law. Abolitionist, aiding and escaping, or wait, aiding and escape, escaping slave is theft and a crime, since slaves are property in Morwen. That's also why I'm down to help free the slaves, because it's like... You're stealing. And we're in the Thieves Guild. Who the fuck was this person they told me to come in here and look for? Plagiad South Wall. Lock Neville's 95. What the hell? What are you guys hiding in here? What's wrong with you people? Come on, I haven't got all day, you know. Have you. a look around. I'm sure you'll like what you see. Old Well. You've heard about that. Well, if you're interested in helping, we would appreciate it. Just do be careful. After one adventurer failed, a few townspeople tried to investigate and never came back. I locked the well for everyone's safety, but you look like you can handle yourself. So here's the key. The key to the old well has been added to our inventory. I don't even know where it's at. You better teach me divine intervention. Restore hell. Your poison on self. Damn it, lady. Whatever. Actually, we're going to leave the door open so we know where to go next time. And... Come hey. on, I haven't got all day, you know. All right, there we go. So now we just need to find the old well and we'll go check that out. I didn't want them to start tripping if I took the damn arrow or something. You know how they get weird. Oh, here it is. My patience is limited. Talking to myself. What? I said he's going crazy talking to himself? As he says to himself in the town. I mean, I can't comment on talking to yourself. I'm sitting here talking to myself too. Kind of how the have something to say. how the game goes when you're doing a YouTube video. Uh, where is this well, dude? Old well. So they're just talking about the well. They don't tell me where it's at or how to get in there. Where is that slave? Hey, do you know where the old well is? Be careful down there. We'd hate to lose another person. Is this it? Yes. Okay, so it's a little dark in here. We can manage. The hell do we get back up there? All right, we luckily have some levitation potions. Oh, shit. Rope. I like that. That's a nice little bit of world building. Uh, I'm just checking for extra loot. There's nothing here. Let's hop in the water. Shit. All right, I already hear it. Let's grab some water or some air. Where's the fish? What's up, you ugly bitch? Let's go. One shot. Small diseased slaughterfish. You better not. Ugly ass. Alright. Looks like we go this way. Could be wrong, but... Ow. Kill him. Some air. One shot. Don't try to get me sick, you stupid fish. 
Give me a pearl. Give me a pearl. Damn it. Diamonds and pearls. Diamonds and pearls. Shit, get some air. Alright. Let's be for real here. What is happening? Is this not like anything? This is just like a little halfway area or whatever. Do we just keep going? Grab some more air, go down. Whoa. Oh, what the fuck? What is that? What the hell are these? Get here. Blind slaughterfish? Wait, who's that? What? Why are you acting, acting scared now? I'm still... I haven't even, even seen you. I don't even know where you're at. You already gave up? What's up, bitch? Hey! Gotcha! Move! I don't want to fight you on the water. Dude, what is this? This looks sick. Whoa! Alright, you're doing a little too much. Fifteen to forty point t poison is crazy. Come here, bitch. Whoa, what did he reflect it to me? My journal has updated. I killed Timrin Timurin Dralis. He built a camp within the old well, seemingly introducing his creations into the water. Investigating his notes might aid me in understanding his motives and ideally unveil a potential remedy. Bitch. Five gold? What is that? Damn, homie got books on books. Empty jug. What is all of this, dude? Journal's been updated from... Oh, Timur and Dreyless journal. I found it. Can I do this? Damn it, I can't pick it up. Whoa. Alchemy for beginners. What is this, dude? Most of these books aren't even... Like, actual in-game books. books. Thank you. Mirror. Poison bloom bulb. Razor. Spellstone. Is that bitter green slime journeyman's retort ain't gonna do a lot the lock requires a special key must be here somewhere St what what is that stained crumpled paper i want to read his crumpled paper i don't think they have anything on Read those ones. Chitin mask, helm, egg miner's mask. Whoa, Tim Rendrelis key. Scroll of divine intervention. Artificial diseases, volume one. Take that. Scroll of contagion, flesh rot. Dude, he was down here being a fucking demon. 
Artificial Diseases Volume 2. Scroll of Telvani's Hackshaw. I like how they put that there in case you're unable to find his uh his thing. Now we can unlock this one up here. Periite Sigil Amnet Amulet. <clears throat> what the hell? Periite Sigil Amulet, Periite Return Amulet. I'm not sure what that means. Interesting, dude. Abacus. All right, so what did it say? Discovering Drayla's journal, I came to the understanding his unwavering devotion to the Daedric Prince, Periite. It appears he faithfully heeded Periite's guidance because he had a terminal illness and Periite agreed to keep the disease from killing him in exchange for his service. Could he have utilized a form of teleportation magic to engage in direct communication with the prince? I should certainly explore the surroundings for further clues. Alright. The Book of Daedra? Where was that at? Just mentioned Periite. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can do anything with those things that we found. Oh, I had a feeling it was gonna be something like that. Damn, it's building the mesh slow as hell. What the hell, dude? What the fuck is this? What the fuck, dude? What even is this place, dude? Shrine to Periite? What is going on? Dude, what is happening? Hold on, I'm gonna talk to the shrine in a second. I just wanna get a look at this place. This place is humongous. What? This is nuts. What the hell, dude? I've never seen anything like this. All right, what's up with you? I have been expecting you, mortal. You are here to undo the work of a loyal agent who set camp in the old well. Without my intervention, you will not succeed. But you are in luck. I am in need of a vessel that will carry out a task of far dude. great significance. Talk to my plague maker, accept his gift, and make your way to the docks of Ebon Heart. There, you will meet with your Conian never seen soap. Should you succeed, mortal, I will cleanse the well of all its impurities. Who's the plague maker? Periite has agreed to cleanse the old well of Pelagiad, if I will be his vessel. He wants me to talk to his plague maker, accept his gift, and travel to the docks of Ebonheart, where I'm supposed to meet an Argonian named Never Seen Soap. Who's your plague maker, dude? Who's your plug? How do I just talk to him? Okay, so that gets me here and there. Okay. So I understand that. Harry, I... Cool. Okay. 
Do you think his Plague Maker is here? I don't want to explore all this and then it'd be like, no, the Plague Maker is not even here. This place is fucking huge. Uh, guess we'll try for a little bit. This place is way too big to just walk around and like explore and hope to find this plague maker guy. Also, how do I get down from here in a way that I can get back up? Or I guess I don't need to get back up. I can just like. The fuck is that? Dude, this is crazy. Keep just trying to rest to see uh, if these creatures are like hostile. So you jump down there. This way. Dude, this is nuts. We don't need any coal. I need the damn plague maker. Fuck the coal, dude. Keep the coal. Dusk bell. Those are definitely scamps and what look like Daedra. But it's- oh shit, I fell! Okay, so they're not friendly. Confused. Are they friendly? What? No! No, be cool. That's not how this is supposed to go. You're supposed to be cool. All right. I don't know what the hell is going on, dude. We're going to see. Are you the play guy? Please be who I'm looking for. Where are my manners? I'm Condorian. Mayrun's Dagon has has caused Lord Periite less trouble than usual lately. Is Dagon planning something? Remember that nothing is free or comes without effort. With all the diseases in Morrowind, you'd think that Dunmer would revere and respect Lord Periite more. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is happening? Dude, be cool. This is what I mean by there's like so much new content. Fuck off. What even is this? I believe I've seen a dark elf with such a grand outfit Can't in such a long what time. This is about. Talking What's about this, then? curing corpus or something. I don't know what the fuck that has to do with anything. Where is plague the plague maker? Is that who I'm looking for? Is this a door? You appear to be a pretty popular guy, Plague Maker. I just want to see what you got on your uh, your little Daedric Goblet. Cool. I'm going to read these. Glass Rod. 
know what? Let's get a selfie, dude. Let's get a couple pics. For the gram. Alright, what's your deal, nasty? Reaches out his arm and give to give you two scrolls. Your journal has been updated. What? The plague maker? What did you do to me? Hey. Ew! Eye worms, 90%? Dude, what the fuck? Hold up, what is happening? <laughs> what is happening to me? The plague maker must have infected me with something. Some sort of disease. My eyes are burning. Is this some... Is this the gift I'm supposed to bring to the Argonian? The Ebonheart docks? <sighs> what? Hold on. I'm confused. What the fuck is going on to me? What did you do to me, Plague Maker, you sick freak? I can't cure it. Alright, I successfully cast it at that time, but it didn't work. This seems like a bad idea. I'm supposed to bring this to somebody? Bring this sickness to someone? Uh, I mean, this is how COVID started. I'm going to just be a super spreader. Scroll of divine intervention. Telepatient magic does not work here. Oh, wait, I know what I need to do. Uh, return amulet. And then from here, dude, this is nuts. Can you guys even see? It's so hard for me to see. I'm gonna turn it up a bit for now. So you aren't looking at a black screen. Dude, this is nuts. Son of a bitch. Alright, we're out. Oh my god, I can't see. Alright. Yeah, it becomes impossible to see, and then you can see for a little bit. How the fuck am I supposed to get to Ebonheart? Okay. Uh, I have an idea. Um, CV. Alright, that worked. Where are we, Viv? Damn it, we're in Vivic. Shit. Uh. Okay. Damn it. All right, there's a dock here. Fuck, I can't see anything right now. All right, there's a dock to my upper right that I can barely, barely, barely see. I'm looking on my other monitor and it's so hard to see. And I'm just scared that you can't see shit. <laughs> I'm hurrying. Oh my god. It goes completely out. Like right now I can't see anything. And I'm having to just wait a couple seconds. This is the worst. What am I supposed to do? Go take this to an Argonian and then... Citizen. Please somebody be on the boat. There's nobody on this boat, dude. All right, I can see. Uh, somebody on this boat, please. Nope, nobody on the boat. Ever consider joining the Legion? No, I didn't. The fucking, I'm outside the Vivek temple. I'm trying to find a boat to take me to the foreign quarter so I could then take that to where I need to go. There's somebody standing here. Oh, I can't see a thing. What do you 
mean I no longer have Pilgrim's Lantern? What happened to it? What? Did I sell it to somebody, dude? There's no way. I must have placed it somewhere. Oh, please. I know, I know. I'm just trying to find a fucking boat driver to take me back to the foreign quarter. I'm so sorry, guys. I know this essentially is... This work. This doesn't work for a video, guys. You're ruining my video. God damn it! What the hell was that? That sounded like a dog. Are you? God damn it! I thought there was a boat driver. Boat driver's over here. Okay, I'm gonna just start recording again when I get to. The guy in Ebonheart. Because, yeah, you can't even see anything. So, as you can see, I'm still running. I'm currently in cool. <laughs> the vision's going out. And I'm going to the docks to see if maybe they can deliver me to Ebonheart. This is crazy. I've never experienced anything like this. Fort Frostmouth. Come on, dude. Dragon fell to either Sadrith Mora or to Ebonheart. Sadrith Mora. And I think from here we can get to Ebonheart with one of these guys. Yes. Hey, are you who the fuck I'm looking for? Mr. Never uses soap or whatever. Never this seen soap. Is new. Hey, you. Greetings, Dark Elf. It's evident you bear the gift. A blessing for one, a curse for others. Pay heed, Dark Elf, as today you assume the role of a Firewatch scribe. You were tasked to convey this scroll to the gray-robed man next to the statue, clear? Excellent. Take this scroll and give it to him. What? Yes, don't ask questions, Dark Elf. Now go and give the man wearing the gray robe the scroll. What are you talking about? The Plague Maker must have infected me with some sort of disease. My eyes are burning. Is this the gift I'm supposed to bring to the Argonian at the docks? What? Coded message? What are you talking about? Go and give the man with the gray robe the scroll. Who the fuck is that? The Plague Maker did not have a robe. Hold on. We just saved. We're going to see if... This is what he wanted. Hey. Hey. What? Daedric Shrines, Alchemy, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, it had to be the coded message. is the Argonian talking about? Ah, my game crashed. All right, hold on. Okay, we're back in the game. We're gonna try it again. So she mentioned there was a gray robed man next to the statue. Hold on.
What I'm wondering if she means the statue in Ebonheart, like over here. There are many creatures beyond the cities. Good hunting. What's what less is this about? Come on, Don't I haven't got all about. day, you know. See, I knew it. What do you want, Dark Elf? Who do you think you... Oh, you must be the new scribe I was informed about. Give me your message and tell them to send me a scribe with better eyesight next time. I've seen cloudier eyes, or I've never seen cloudier eyes. That you managed to arrive here is truly remarkable. Before you leave, Ebonheart, you should go and talk to Laladia Varian at the chapels. If anyone can restore your eyesight, it would be her. Keep your distance, scribe. I need my eyes more than you do. Go to the chapels without further delay. It says return to the shrine, but he, he mentioned go to the temple, so we're going to do that because we're not going to continue walking around like this because this is very annoying. Where are the chapels? Is this like the Argonian mission and all that shit? Where's the chapels? Help me. Skyrim mission. Fuck the missions. Get me to the damn church. I need the Lord. Oh my god. Oh. What do I even do with the chapels? Well, you told me to specifically on, talk to I that woman, day, but I've never heard them called the chapels. Grand Council Chambers. Please, is there... I'm listening. Oh, no. Spit it out or hit the road. Let's get this over with quickly. Abti? Somebody help me, I'm sick. I can tell. I only have a few moments. And become a lay member? No, can't you see I'm fucking sick, lady? Are you insane? Fucking out of your mind? Do I know? Raylan Klalu. Shout out the homie. I am Vedam Quidray Outlander. I have not much to fail. Welcome I only to have a moment. Everybody's tripping. All of you shut up. <gasps> Imperial chapels. Hey, hey. My greetings to you, wanderer. You. Uh -uh. Stay out of trouble and you won't get hurt. Who was supposed to help me? Strange. Somebody. Uh, you. Greetings, stranger. You say Dunius Vera sent you? Let me take a look at your eyes. Why the nine? never seen such an affliction. Are these worms? Keep your distance, stranger, for whatever clouds your vision may spread to others. Pray to Stendar for luck and mercy. May the divine save you, for I cannot. All right, well, while we're here, oh, she can't even offer me spells. All right, who's Stendar? Stendar, god of ju justice and mercy. The patron of righteous might, merciful forbearance. He's the inspiration for magistrates and rulers, the patron of imperial legions and the court of the law-abiding citizen. So what the fuck am I, I am supposed to do? I am oracle of the imperial cult. Sometimes I am even blessed to be granted visions. I need some visions, bitch. I need my vision. How do I pray to Stendar? I am an oracle of the imperial cult. Sometimes I am even blessed to be granted visions. Cure disease? Shit, I almost stole something. Cure blight? Store attributes. Your poison. What do I do? Pray to Stendar. What? What am I supposed to do here, lady? My vision doesn't work. Do I just go back to the shrine? Lady, this is crazy. Uh, On your way. Stay out of trouble and you won't get hurt. 
If you're here for a while we're here in Ebonheart, before we call it an episode, because this is crazy, we're going to Frogoth Forever. For Scar's bad behavior. Who am I supposed to get it to? Cavortius Albudian. Albudian. Grand Council Chamber. Alright, I think we went the exact opposite way. Come on. I'm supposed to go to this one. This better be important, Dun. I think I'm going the right way. I can't tell, of course. Oh, fuck. I have no idea, but I know he's very near. Being unable to see really doesn't help. Now there's a profession worthy of absolutely nothing. What? Take the door to the right to the Imperial Commission, then the door on the left to the Imperial Guard Garrison. Let's get this over with quickly. Shut up. Get out the way of the damn steps. Oh my god, I hate you so much. Can you move? You asshole. Dude. Okay, he's gone. Oh my god. Okay. Let's get this over. Oh my quick. gosh. Okay, I'm gonna <laughs> we're gonna resume when I find this guy. Holy shit. Okay, I was just going I the completely have... wrong way. Mm -hmm. But we are in the right building now. I think this is who we're looking for. I only have a few moments. Briscar's bad behavior. These are serious accusations. What evidence do you have? Show my letters. This seems quite clear. He's been harassing some of the locals, especially this Farga, committing crimes, even refusing direct orders. Uh, I'll have him reassigned to Drowhead Island. I have no authority to reward you officially, but please take the small reward. Drowhead Island is an Arctic training camp for the Legion. It's frozen year round. Supplies come in twice a year, along with a hundred fresh foolish recruits and the nearest available women are ten days away by ship. Yes, I spent some time on Drowhead Island. A year or two there will be a changed man. No, I did not say a better man. For that, we can only pray to the Nine. Okay, so we've done... What's with Friskar's connections? You mean his aunt back in Cyrodiil? Whatever her place on the council, I doubt she knows what he's doing or cares about his treatment. I know her well enough to know she never liked him but perhaps someone made an assumption. There are too many of those in the Legion, or perhaps Hriskar used her name as a threat. Whatever his connections, I don't care. All right, so he's been dealt with, nice. He's been reassigned to Drowhead Island. So we're gonna go ahead and save, and then... They told us to come... Mortal. <gasps> Genuinely impressed. You have diligently upheld your end of the bargain, and true to my promise, the well's affliction upon the people of Bellagia shall trouble them no more. Behold, your sight shall be restored. Whoa. Daedric Prince Periite has cleansed the water of the old well. The inhabitants of Pelagiad can now lay their concerns about the water to rest. 
I'm sure that Yikfa will reward me for this. Whoa. So we've solved it, and we've got our vision back, thank God. But, alright. Damn, we could make this a lair if we really wanted to. But, we are going to go ahead and call it an episode here, because this has gone far longer than I anticipated. But I just want to say thank you guys so, so much for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying it. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.